Hey guys, it's Nivelle J. Lee here at the Buzzcast at Buzzworthy Radio. Continuing with our coverage of the 39th Annual Santa Barbara International Film Festival, we got to dive in in the movie Lucha, A Wrestling Tale. Now this follows young girls, and I was about to say four, because four of them are actually going to be at the premiere <laughs> this weekend, but it follows young girls at Taft High School and their journeys when they join the girls wrestling team there was one of the girls that we actually do do get to talk to in this interview of her joining the boys team but really the 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 whole premise of this movie at least for me was watching their journey and their struggle and by the way lucha means struggle and what happens outside of the wrestling mat and you have someone who is struggling to make ends meet. You're having someone struggling to make sure that their grades stay up. You know, there's always, there always was something outside of what was happening on the mat. And just to see them persevere from that struggle was huge. I love talking with this crew. All of the girls plus the coaches, absolutely a fun time. I enjoyed every minute of this interview and hopefully you guys do too. So here it is, our interview with the crew of Lucha, A Wrestling Tale. Take a listen. The cast and crew of Lucha, a wrestling tale, joining me right now. If you want to go around the room and introduce yourselves, let's go ahead and start with Coach Lee. Hi, Coach Lee, uh, producer on the film. I'm Shirley, uh, someone on the show on the film. <laughs> I'm Marley, <laughs> one of the teammates. Nyjah, another person in film. <laughs> Samantha, also a wrestler <laughs> on the film. <laughs> And Coach Rob over here, also executive producer on the film. Appreciate you guys hopping on and spending a few minutes with me about this. This was such a very inspiring movie and yet very poignant and, and, and to be frank, upsetting at times because you're, you're watching you're watching everybody going through their struggles, their personal struggles as well as being on this team. Shirley in particular, I, I just, I think with you, Nyjah, we're going to get to you in a, in a second, too, because I, I definitely really enjoyed your story as well. But Shirley, it was just, I, I I felt a lot of the upset and the pain, but also it was just it was just inspiring to see you. You had to give up something you love because you had to make ends meet at, and, and you had to work. You had to leave the wrestling for for a ways and then you had no place to go there was no place for you to go and then just to see spoiler alert just to see the fact that you're where you are now you have your own place you're in layman college it's just it was just so it was great to see that at, at the end so i'm very happy for that but it was just such a that was such a time for you like how i mean i can't we can say it. i know what you're going through but for those that had not seen this what was going through that course of your mind having to go through all of this throughout that entire time yeah um i think that's a that's a great and valid point um i, I appreciate you you know at, you know asking um i will say that looking back now um it was just a lot uh easier for me to get through those challenges then because i guess i just wasn't thinking about all of the um potential consequences that could have happened and the potential dangers that could have happened to me. They, they were just, they, mm. I would think that they could happen to me. So just like, yeah. And so uh, I was able to um, move more freely in that mind space. And, but now, you know, if I were to, to think that I could potentially be homeless and like, you know, yeah. choose between one or the other, it'll definitely, I definitely break. It's definitely chaotic. It was definitely chaotic, and then it was just just that one point, just seeing yourself just standing out there waiting for someone. You couldn't go back to your mom's place. I, I think that was honestly the pivotal point for me in that whole entire film. Um, just seeing that specifically in that moment, I think that was that was the part of it that stood out for me. And I didn't know what else to feel except, oh my God, I wish there was something I, like I felt something on the other end of it going, I wish there was something I could do and in that in that time space. And just as you overcome that, I, I just honestly, I thought that was amazing. So I, I had to point that out first and foremost. 
um, Niaja yourself, it was it was so tough. But to see both coaches, Josh and Robert, being such a support system, especially in one of the final matches in the film, and you just broke down on the mat. I love the fact that you had these two that really came and just gave you the biggest hug and the biggest pep talk about that. Let's talk about the how is that with these two men that have had your back this entire time to this point to where no matter if you won, even if you lost, they're literally here basically telling you it's going to be okay. Let's go. It's not this one. It's going to be the next one. Um, I feel like it was, that was the determining factor for a lot of victories for me. Um, these, especially Lee, these men were like in my corner, kind of like in my ear whispering to me, like victory all the time, every time, all day, no matter what, at the end of practice, there was always, yeah, nah, I know you don't got it right now, but mm -hmm. like, you are going to get it. We, this is something we all know. So like, let's get to that point already because we're wasting time here. We got victories to you know, and like as time went on, um, as he coached it to me, I believed in myself and it just showed like as I progressed uh, academically, uh, physically, um, lost enough weight to make sure I maintained wrestling. It was uh, due to motivation and these men are motivational. <laughs> so, yeah. I can't deny that from what I've seen, you guys are definitely motivated you kept everybody motivated especially at the at the first meetings all the time you're always just so you're you're i can't say it. you're hip man i i loved it i loved every aspect of what you guys did for these girls so i commend you for that so thank you um i have to know and anybody can take this question having the cameras rolling when you're going to those moments was that was that how was that feeling? Because for me, I don't know if I could have handled that as well as you guys did. The cameras following me around and telling this story. I I'm not that guy. So for you guys, for you guys to do that, God bless your heart. But I cannot do that. <laughs> I feel like maybe after a certain point, the cameras disappear and you're yeah. focused on, you know, the match or whatever the case is. And once everything is said and done, if you do uh, wind up losing you kind of like you already in your own personal head you replaying the match seeing what went wrong and then once again the camera reappears so it's like a darn I gotta really focus on oh hey how's it going <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <No. laughs> um um in that aspect I feel like comfortability was like we've known Marco for way too long to be like hey Marco get out of here with your camera it's just Marco yeah, yeah. and then afterwards us we are comfortable with each other to the point where, like, yeah. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. The camera was just there as a decoy. Like, he was yeah. just, like, there in the audience, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. another one supporting us, yeah. How did, um, so what, what inspired you guys to join this wrestling team? Samantha, we'll start with you because you joined the boys team. What was your story behind that? Um, well, I try to go out for soccer and I was denied because we didn't have a girl soccer team in our school. So I tried to go out for the boys soccer team. But I was like, I don't care. I just want to do soccer. Um, and the coach laughed in my face and was like, look at you. You're a female. What are you talking about? This is a boys team. Get out of here. Like, get out of my face. You're wasting my time. Um, and I was like, it took that and I ran with it. And when I saw the boys poster saying we want you to wrestle it didn't say boys wrestling it just said we want you to wrestle yeah. so I said I'm showing up and I told the coach when I came in I was like so I want to wrestle and they looked at me like yeah and I was like <laughs> we're not fighting I don't have to fight I had this whole plan in my head like that I needed a fight to be <laughs> on the team you were ready you were like on the ready I love it <laughs> I was like I'm not being denied twice this is not happening again I want to do this this looks like fun this is something I want to do. And yeah, I kind of just ran with it. You guys are probably a little too young for this. I think Josh and Robert and I might fall into this camp, but it's funny coach when you had pitched me this interview and this is no joke. There was an episode of a TV show that was on at the same time when I saw this review and it was a saved by the bell episode. And it was the girl 
who was on uh, the boys' wrestling team. Yeah. <laughs> so that's crazy. <laughs> that was, I literally was like, "Wow." Uh, oh, so I'm really gonna have to do this now. So. <laughs> There wasn't if there wasn't something from the heavens telling me, no, you gotta do this interview. I think that was it. So yes, no, I had to throw that out there because I literally was watching that episode and I saw this, I saw the email come through and I said, Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about this now. So <laughs> you're gonna see it everywhere now. It's the fastest growing sport in college in America right now. That it is. I I it was it was great for it to point out that after you guys graduated. I think it was like at the time, a hundred people, a hundred joined the team, and you guys won three city champions. Uh, you had three city champions, two state champions. That's huge. Then congratulations to that. I mean, honestly, from where this started to where this is coming from, and um, mm -hmm. there was also a conversation in the beginning of the film, or at least towards the beginning of the film, that I believe Josh was talking about how. Taft, I think, is probably not in the best area. <laughs> if, that, so if I can say that. You're so nice. That's actually the best thing I've heard about Taft show. in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where I could go with this description. But, <laughs> I, feel like but I mean, but the way that he was talking about it, it just goes like, I could say that word because he's going like, it's not so bad. <laughs> the first going, okay, well, at least... It's not terrible, so that's good. So there was that. So I thought that I thought that was great that you at least. Um, I mean, you came in there, you you were with these girls, and you just you did your you did your damn thing, and I was it was great. I can't really say enough about it. I mean, I feel like everybody has to see this movie to understand how. Yeah, that's right. How just inspirational this movie is. I'm I'm not sorry. You have people, and I'm saying not sorry because it's the truth. You have you have this one person who their first words in English was you. What was it? You're you're cute, I ugly, mean, or pretty. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that was a compliment, but I was going like. I'll take it on that was your first English word, so let's go. Um, so there was that. Um, dropping classes, night, nah, nah, come on, dropping classes, come on. And believe it or not, so my perspective of the um, movie when we first started filming was um, me just trying to maintain weight, like, and it's not really too I much. I did know that, yes, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's not really too much to be talked about in, you know, I guess this industry, you don't want to really fat shame people. So it was more comfortable to speak from an academic point um, uh, the hardships that I went through. And I was going through, you know, both of them. Both at the same <laughs> both. time. You were uh, on at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, great. Like 50 pounds just to make weight. Yeah. It was, wow. What and was then, that? You said 50? I didn't uh, yeah, yeah. When she started out, she had to lose right at 50 pounds to make the highest weight class. Okay. And, gotcha. and then she just, she just kept, she kept going. going. Yeah. 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 And then I had kids. Okay. So that's why I'm just big now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go there. What was your first impressions of everybody? Well, I, I, I love how everyone started looking at her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me and her, we just saw all the time. <laughs> As they prompt. literally just As right prompt. to nine. I'm like, all right, let's go. What do I do? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Like, me and her, I was just like, she had green contacts at the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. creepy, Marcos. Yeah. That's very <laughs> detailed. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a, I'm sorry, Marcos. Here. <laughs> <laughs> the window. Marcos. Practice. You see, like, this is so natural. Like, this is so normal. So, <laughs> We didn't even pay no. attention to it. Hi, Marco. Uh, hey, oh, that's the one in our door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you it, don't fully. Thing comes yeah. out automatically for whatever reason. So, sorry about that. Uh, yes. Marco, the director. <laughs> yes. How are you? Yo, what's up, Marco? Hey, what's going on? You know who that is? You smell nice. Yeah, we all smell great here. Um, 
So yeah, and Sam, Sam was very, she was uh, very um, supportive of everybody. So she encouraged I'm like, everyone. I, I was like the background mom that yeah. no one really saw that I was there when needed. Like when it was yeah. needed, I'm there. But yeah. She's stern, but still sweet, wants to hear you out type of thing. Yeah, are, you the, like, are you that person, like, when you talk about moms, are you that one in the stands going, like, just literally going, like, this was a bad call. What are you talking about? Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Going so far. Sam just got don't worry about it. Come on. The ref doesn't know what he's doing. Come on. Yes. <laughs> yes. They don't like us. He yeah. has a vendetta yeah. against no. us. Because I remember that ball. We did. No, we really ball. had a I think it's talking about what you want, yeah? Okay. We had a, a rep who just literally did not like tap. It didn't, it, like, it literally didn't matter. Anytime you had a, one of us, it was always never in our favor, ever. It didn't even nope. matter. In two no. seconds, two, two second pin, our, our shoulder doesn't even need to touch the mat, and he just called it. He's like, that's it. You lost. Wouldn't you love to be a high school ref so people can hate you for 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> so if I still live to this day, to this day. To this day. <laughs> Right, literally the new Jeff right there to this day. He, um, he has to add it now. He has to add it now. I'll, I, I'll make it happen for you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I I wish I was there just to witness all this in person because this that this is amazing. I love every yeah. bit of this. <laughs> what do you think? What did you think of both coaches? What do you think of Rob and Josh? What were your impressions of them? Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hot bad cop. I guess I'm bad cop, Rob. Yeah. This is news. So I, I was a good I, cop. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> I, I, don't know. I, I might have, I might have to stick up for my my second cousin here. I don't. I, I don't think he was the bad cop in the in the movie at all. No, I don't think so either. I don't like to me it's the way that he would come off. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the way that yeah. he comes off. Versus, you know what? How, he came how do you mean? No, I'm dead serious. How do you mean? Not like, like this. <laughs> no, uh, Lee was the one that was never gonna let you give it up. You would think this is my last semester, this is it, I'm not doing it anymore. Or like, you're so tired from practice that you're so uh, double guessing it. And Lee's like, stairs, stairs, stairs. <laughs> Yo, Lee, you come run me stairs. tomorrow. Yeah. And if you're not at practice, oh. stairs twice. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> I expect to see you at that tournament. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'd already paid to make sure you're gonna get there. So I'll see you then, all right? All right, Josh. I still got you. You can do that. It's fine. We, <laughs> we're still here. It's okay. <laughs> and I, did. I mean there were there were I will admit there were a couple of times where I did seem like no, you you gotta start sprinting. No, sprint. Yeah. Like yeah. you're walking, you're walking and change your shoes and then into your clothes. He was like, No, you gotta sprint to get get to here i was going like okay go ahead well why aren't y'all sprinting so <laughs> great, great question that's a good question <laughs> i mean he told y'all to sprint why are you not going sprint <laughs> but it, it's just it's just i i think they're great too in the in the aspects of that they both of you guys really get in your feels especially during the tournaments especially in the one where i just basically just I, I was just watching it. It was nice. And all I kept hearing was you just dropped a freaking damn on the on the on the mat. And I was just like, yeah, I felt that. I felt yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I felt wish that. you could have seen so many more matches because there was and I was just talking about him over this over breakfast about this. Like there was like a incline of like wrestling for us. Like it was in the beginning, you know, you first start and it's like kind of hard. You kind of get the moves down. But once again, with the motivation to lead here, you put a fire under some butts. He was like, you're going to do it. Yeah. We're champions now at this point. We're just waiting for the trophies. And like after a certain point, it kind of instilled into my head, we're champions. And then mm -hmm. it became the actions of champions. So like yeah. if you take away anything, that motivation is like he like. Yeah. I agree with that. Completely agree. Well, and speaking of feelings, what was your reaction to having this movie be accepted into SBIF? This question is. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's awesome. I'm on a personal level. I, I had my first short film ever when I was just like a 20 something premiere at San, uh, Santa Barbara. So to come here, 
later with my favorite film ever that I worked on. The most special project. <laughs> no, it's a special project for me. On a, I think it's the best thing I've ever done. So I'm really proud of it. So to have it here is is really special for us. You know, uh, feel to me it feels a little bit like coming back in at home a little bit. So I think it's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, yeah. In, in, in my opinion, and, and this is actually my first SBIF that I've ever covered, and, and documentaries are my wheelhouse. If you if you show me a documentary, I will be ready, willing, and able to watch it in 30 seconds because I love watching those type of films. And, and most of the films I have covered are documentaries So uh, for this year. And Every one of them I've seen has absolutely been incredible, especially because I've become so invested in who is involved in in the story, and you are feeling, you you then start to feel what they're feeling in the film in, in the film, and that is due to Marco capturing those moments and those nuances uh, that you're able to understand exactly what they're going through, and, and try to get into their headspace a little bit, and having these types of documentaries be accepted into this kind of festival which i which i now understand exactly how amazing this this one is in particular that's a huge feat and i'm so proud of you guys for being able to share this story with with everybody that will be in attendance for this to watch it please go and watch this um if you are in the area I suggest you go ahead and do it because it, it really truly is inspirational and you will guys you everybody who will see this they'll get some sense of a really good feeling coming out of it so just wanted to add I wanted to add that in, in, into that perspective and when is it premiering did it already premiere or is it premiering this weekend. So three o'clock on Friday the. Today. 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 Yeah. But if you're if you're watching it later, Friday the ninth at three o'clock and Saturday the tenth at twelve o'clock. Gotcha. I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you for stopping by and speaking with me today about this. Again, I enjoyed every minute of this movie, and I'm so glad I got to talk to you about it. And really appreciate the time. Thank you all so much. Uh, Santa Barbara International Film Festival. If you're there, it's going all the way until the seventeenth. Make sure you guys check it out. Make sure you guys check out this film, Lucha, a wrestling tale, today and tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. To the crew of Lucha, a wrestling tale, thank you so much for stopping by the Buzzcast to promote the film. It premiered today at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, and it also has a screening tomorrow, Saturday the 10th at 12 p.m. So if you guys are in the area, please check the documentary out. It absolutely is inspiring and it was just, it was just a great film. It was just a great film. But that's it for now. My name is Avel J. Lee, making sure you keep getting the latest buzz with Buzzworthy Radio by logging on to our website at buzzworthyradiocast.com. You can also find us on X at Buzzworthy Radio, liking us on our Facebook page, and download our podcast at Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.